call the board meeting to order. We'll stand and be led in the pledge by Ms. Prokash. Questions in each week. 
and each of those questions are scored on a four-point rubric, ranging from four points for complete and correct to zero. And each of those questions is scored on three major categories, mathematical knowledge, <coughs> strategic knowledge, and the ability for them to be able to completely and clearly communicate their solution and uh, the method that they use. So that's, in a nutshell, how the teams are set up. This particular year's uh, tournament was an extremely close one. Going into the third meet, we had the potential of having a three-way tie. That's how close the meet was. We ended up with uh, team number seven in first place. Uh, the team advisor was uh, Janet McGulley, who's the math specialist from Horizon. And that was totally by chance that she was the advisor for that team. She's going to assist in helping us present the medals in just a moment. That team had 306 points at the conclusion of the third meet. Team number one placed second with 303 points. And we had a two-way tie for third place with 302 points, team number six and team number seven. I'm sorry, team number six and team number 10. If that gives you an idea of how, just how close, I was even prepared with a tiebreaker question for that third meet because it was so close after the second meet. Uh, at this point, unless I had someone else who came in, and I may have had another student come in, I, I'm just going to read the names. And Janet, if you would please come up to help. And Jeannie Satori, the math specialist from Gimney Avenue, is also here. Those two uh, math specialists are going to help present you uh, medals. And Myra Matos from Temple Hill, the math specialist at Temple Hill, is also here this evening. So I want to thank you for coming. Thank you so all of the names, and we're going to have a nice here, I think.
send a certificate of appreciation to Mr. Greg Thompson, who for many years has provided support to the Board of Education, the Superintendent of Schools, the administrators, and the children of the New Bergen Large City School District. Mr. Thompson will be retiring at the end of December, and we all wish him the best of luck. We also hope that he will agree to continue to help us during public meetings of the board and capture with his camera the special moments that we enjoy. I would like to ask Greg to join us at the dais to receive the certificate and for a group picture. Come on over, Greg. that all students were thoroughly engaged in the work that they were doing. 
So I just wanted to share that with you, and if any of you um, have not had the experience and are not aware of this wonderful program, we are not a component of BOCES. We are one of a um, couple of high schools that offer their own comprehensive program for career and tech ed. I certainly encourage you as a community to get out there and see it. It is a fabulous, fabulous program, and it's nice to see such a highly regarded educator agrees with us. So uh, I, I encourage you to go and see that. And then also uh, earlier this month I had a, another um, opportunity. There was a um, highly regarded educator here, uh, Heidi Hayes Jacobs, and she was providing some professional development uh, to our teachers and administrators and other staff members regarding the implementation of the Common Core Standards, which is right around the corner. And as part of the professional development, she asked um, Horizons on Hudson to talk a little bit about the IB program that they're running in that school and um, the inquiry-based methods that are uh, part of, of the basis for the IB program. And so they did. And uh, she wanted to share with all of us uh, once again how impressed she was in this elementary level IB program running at Horizons on the Hudson, and she wanted us to know that um, in her years as an educator, typically people will put in for that accreditation, um, and it will take six or seven times before they awarded that accreditation as an IB program. At Horizons on the Hudson, you should know, um, due to all their hard work and, and due diligence, um, they achieved that accreditation after their first application. So they are a fully accredited elementary IB program. And so I give kudos to everyone in this district uh, for all of their hard work and want you to know um, what wonderful people we have here working with all of our children. And I hope that you continue to support us and I hope that you get out to see all we have to offer and the opportunities that are here for our children. So thank you very much. Next item on the agenda is from the superintendent. Thank you, Madam President. Resolution to approve facilities project change orders associated with approved projects. NFA renovation, renovation project, NFA oil body project, and HOH renovation project. NFA North Campus Additional Alterations Project, Vales Gate Renovation Project, set one and set two. Gardner County Renovation and Gams Renovation. And the motion? Second. Questions or comments? Excuse me. Roll call, please. Yes. 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 The proposal submitted by Menuda Architecture, PLLC, to amend and extend their existing agreement to provide comprehensive architectural services related to the replacement of the main entrance, exterior stair stairs at Temple Hill School. I have a motion. Second. Question Roll call, please. Mr. Levinstein? Yes. Mr. Levinstein? Yes. Mr. Marcos? Yes. Mr. Bansley? Yes. Mr. Bansley? Yes. Mr. Bansley? Yes. Thank you, Madam President. That concludes the agenda items for, for me tonight. Thank you, Mr. Pizzo. Our next item on the agenda is from the Assistant Superintendent for Student Intervention and Support Services. Thank you, Madam President. The first resolution is to approve facility use requests from Kids Zone Volunteer Income Tax Assistance and the Orange County Department of Human Resources. Can I have a motion? So moved. Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mr. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Barcash? Yes. Mr. Vansley? Yes. Mr. Reynolds? Yes. Mr. Kuchin? Yes. yes. Item B is a resolution to approve recommendations from the Committees on Special Education. I have a motion. Second. Questions or comments? Roll 
roll call, please. Mr. Bellenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Jericho? Yes. Mr. Vasley? Yes. Mr. Winhill? Yes. Mr. Chuck? Yes. IMC is a resolution to rescind an authorization to execute a service agreement with Orange Altered Bosis approved at the July 12, 2011 board meeting and further authorizes the superintendent of schools to execute a consultant agreement with Dr. Richard Han to provide psychiatric evaluations to particular students with disabilities and to provide professional development to district staff the funding source is IDA Part B, Section 611, regular. I have a motion. So moved. Questions or comments? <coughs> Mr. Levinstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Mrs. Carcott? Yes. Mr. Bentley? Yes. Mr. Woodall? Yes. Mr. Yes. Item D is a resolution to authorize the superintendent of schools to execute a consultant agreement with Terry Copens, PhD, to provide independent evaluations upon parental request. <coughs> Source IDEA Part B, Section 611. Stand motion. So moved. Questions or comments? <coughs> Roll call, please. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Perkow? Yes. Mr. Bensley? Yes. Mr. Woodall? Yes. Mr. Chuck? Yes. Item E is a resolution to authorize the superintendent of schools to execute an agreement with Hazelden Foundation for the purchase of electronic subscriptions, training, and implementation materials to execute the Alveus Anti-Bully Management Program. Funding source is Title II, Part A, Preparing, Training, and Recruiting Highly Qualified Teachers and Principals. Roll call, please. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Carpenter? Yes. Mr. Bensley? Yes. Mr. Wenhall? Yes. Mr. Chuck? Yes. Thank you, Madam President. That concludes my items. Thank you, Dr. Noriega. Our next item on the agenda is from the Assistant Superintendent for Curriculum and Instruction. Thank you, Madam President. The first resolution is the resolution to approve gestation of the NFA Electronic Keyboard Ensemble students to attend and perform at the Ohio Music Educators Association State Conference in Columbus, Ohio from February 16th to the 17th, 2012. Funding source, Fine and Performing Arts Budget. I have a motion. So moved. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Wendell? Yes. Mr. Chuck? Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes. Yes. And next item is a resolution to approve the participation of the NFA varsity baseball team to attend the Mingo Bay Baseball Clinic Tournament in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina from April 7th through the 14th, 2012. Funding source general funds, athletics, and booster club. I have a motion. No motion. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Wendell? Yes. Mr. Chuck? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mr. Wendell? Yes. Mr. Chuck? Next item is a resolution to authorize the superintendent of schools to execute an agreement with Naviance to purchase software subscriptions <coughs> and training to assist school counselors to develop and manage student academic, college, and career plans and student data. Funding source, Title I, Part A. Can I have a motion? Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Levinstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. 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 The next item is a resolution to authorize the superintendent of schools to execute an agreement with Miravia LLC to provide professional development for the annual professional performance review preparation and implementation. Funding source, Race to the Top, Title II, Part A, and Title I, Part A. Can I have a motion? So moved. Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Levinstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Perkoff? Yes. Mr. Bensley? Yes. Mr. Woodhall? Yes. Mr. Chuck? Yes. And the last item is a resolution to approve conference request. <coughs> I have a motion. <coughs> so moved. Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Levinstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Woodhall? Yes. Mr. Chuck? Yes. 
Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Levinsky? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mr. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Bertrand? Yes. Mr. Gensley? Yes. Mr. Wendell? Yes. Mr. Chuck? Yes. That concludes my items, Madam President. Thank you, Mr. Fortune. Our next item on the agenda is from the Assistant Superintendent for Finance. Thank you, Madam President. First item is a resolution to approve payment property tax refunds to Elizabeth Lewis, 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 L
Resolution J is a resolution to ratify a supplemental memorandum of agreement between the district and the Newburgh Teachers Association regarding Schedule J positions and stipend funding sources to fund balance. I have a motion. So Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Ms. Prokash? Yes. Mr. Bansley? Yes. Mr. Bonehall? Yes. Ms. Mitchell? Yes. Resolution K is a resolution to approve an appointment for the 21st Century After School Program at Meadow Hill, funding source of the 21st Century Program Grant. I have a motion? No Questions or comments? <coughs> Roll call, please. Mr. Levinson? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Ms. McAfee? Yes. Ms. Prokash? Yes. Mr. Bansley? Yes. Mr. Whitehall? Yes. Ms. Butcher? Yes. Resolution L is a resolution to approve the appointment of an individual to the position of home teacher manager. Funding source is the general fund. I have a motion. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Levinson? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. McAfee? Yes. Ms. Prokash? Yes. Mr. Bansley? Yes. Mr. Warhol? Yes. Ms. Kuchek? Yes. Resolution M is to approve the revised job descriptions for the following positions. Director of Social Studies and Foreign Language, Director of Bilingual and Accelerated Learning Programs, and Executive High School Principal. I have a motion. So moved. Second. Questions or comments? Yes. Yes, Mr. Warhol. I would like to break these items up and vote or not. Can I have a motion to separate these three items into individual resolutions? Second. Roll call. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Ms. McAfee? Yes. Ms. Prokash? Yes. Mr. Bansley? Yes. Mr. Warhol? Yes. Mr. Chairman? Yes. Ms. Weimer, can you read them individually? <laughs> the first one would be to approve the re revised job description for Director of Social Studies Education in Foreign Language. I have a motion. So moved. Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Ms. Prokash? Yes. Mr. Bensley? Yes. Mr. Woodhull? Yes. Ms. Kuchek? Yes. The second one would be a resolution to approve the revised job description <coughs> for Director of Bilingual Education and Accelerated Learning Programs. I have a motion. So moved. Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. <coughs> Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Ms. Prokash? Yes. Mr. Bensley? Yes. Mr. Woodhull? Yes. Ms. Kuchek? Yes. And item number three would be the resolution to approve the job description for the executive high school principal. Make a motion. So moved. Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Ms. Prokash? Yes. Mr. Bensley? Yes. Mr. Woodhull? No. Ms. Kuchek? Yes. <coughs> Resolution N is a resolution to authorize the superintendent of schools to ex execute an agreement with an employee. Can I have a motion? So moved. Second. One of the, I just want to uh, point a clarification. One of the board members had a um, question that was forwarded to me regarding either resolution N or resolution O. And I'm not sure that you got your answers, Mr. Levenstein. So would you like to um, have these tabled for discussion in executive session? Yes. Can I have a motion to uh, table items? Is it N or O or both? You're not sure. Okay. Can I have a motion to table item resolution N for further discussion in executive session? <coughs> Roll call, please. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Ms. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Prokop? Yes. Mr. Bensley? Yes. Mr. Woodhull? Yes. Mr. Chair? Yes. And we're tabling all as well, so we
I have a motion to table resolution O. So moved. Okay. Roll call, please. Mr. Levinson? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Mrs. Prokop? Yes. Mr. Gasly? Yes. Mr. Whitehall? Yes. Mr. Chen? Yes. Resolution P is a resolution to approve 10 year recommendations for a teacher and a teaching assistant. I have a motion. So moved. Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Levinson? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mr. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Prokop? Yes. Mr. Gasly? Yes. Mr. Whitehall? Yes. Mr. Chair? Yes. Resolution Q is for your information only. It's upcoming tenure recommendation for a teacher. That concludes my item. Thank you, Mrs. Lemons. Our next item on the agenda is from the clerk of the board. Thank you, Mrs. Chair. I have uh, a number of uh, meeting minutes for the board approval this evening. We have a special meeting of November 22nd, 2011, special meeting of November 15, 2011, special meeting of November 14, 2011, regular meeting of October 25th, 2011, and the regular meeting of September 27th, 2011. Land a motion? So Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Levinsky? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Ms. Prokop? Yes. Mr. Benson? Yes. Mr. Whitehall? Yes. Mr. Chapman? Yes. Thank you, Mrs. Fox. Our next item on the agenda is public discussion and comments on non-agenda items. I do have um, I am in receipt here of someone who's turned in and asked to speak, so we will hear this person first. After that, if you would like to speak or comment on non-agenda items, please step to the podium and give your name. We will first hear from Christine Hutchinson. Good evening. Um, I came to you last month with some students regarding girls to ladies and the fact that the group is being forced to reject some of the members because of our 90% policy and so on. And I just wanted to come again because I haven't heard anything and I don't want my concerns to fall by the wayside. And I'd like to share an experience that's happened between then and now. I have a female student in my class who was part of Girls to Ladies. And she was being non-productive in class. And I called her outside and I started talking to her, asking her why she wasn't working. And she said, well, I'm not concerned about school right now. I have these things going on. And as it turned out, she had um, a parent who passed away about six or seven months ago, and her other parent is basically out of the picture. So she had a lot of concerns, and she's going through a very hard time. And I immediately brought her to the school social worker, who we're lucky to have. And in the course of speaking to her, the girl said, well, this big brothers, big sisters around? Because she realizes that she needs kind of a, a mentor in her life. And the social worker said, well, they don't really deal with teenagers so much. What about girls to ladies? And she looked at me and said, well, you told me I can't be a part of that anymore. So it's still very much a pressing issue. And these are real people who need to be a part of this right now <coughs> that we're talking about. So thank you for your time and consideration. Thank you, Ms. Richardson. Good evening. I would like to speak to this very same issue. My name is Robert Reed. I am a 21-year retiree of the NYPD. I am currently the governor of the Optimist Club. Our motto is bringing out the best in children. I have first-hand knowledge of the Girls to Ladies program. We have been involved in the uh, New Windsor, Cornwall, and Newburgh area within the school system helping disadvantage that risk youth in regards to um, <clears throat> having them be involved in programs that help them reach out and help community. Just some of the programs that we're involved in is the Head Start program. We do a uh, holiday uh, party in which uh, uh, these kids help out by a feeding program for a nursery school program. And we offer uh, student month awards. And the largest portion of what we do is trying to you know, foster program exactly like Ms. Hutchinson just spoke about. And a program which disenfranchises at-risk youth is very dangerous. And I'll speak back to my credentials as a NYPD sergeant retiring. I actually retired out of um, the School Safety Task Force, which was a task force in New York City, 
where 160 police officers were put into schools and it had become such a problem within 10 of those identified schools where problems within the schools were being criminalized and there was a need for the safety of all involved that police officers come in. And we were very sensitized. We picked officers that were their officers. We put uh, officers that were familiar with gang recruitment techniques and everything like that. And we found that largely by getting these kids involved in positive mentoring programs that when they were available to these programs, we didn't see them in, in the troubles that they were getting into at the school. So I would just appeal to you to consider the policies that would exclude children from the opportunities for being involved in positive mentoring programs like this. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Reed. Thank you. <coughs> Grace Foles, 125 North Trent Road, New York. New York. <clears throat> Mrs. Zuchek, you uh, made a statement at the beginning <clears throat> excuse me, of the meeting. But a one-shot glance at our district by people on the outside, people on the inside have a different picture. And let me go on and tell you why. I attended the meeting of the Greater New Bird Partnership, <clears throat> and I asked them how did the school district fit into their plans? Because we have many unskilled graduates who simply need a job, and to put it simple. They said, until the Newburgh and Large City School District gets their act together, they literally have no use for them. I'm standing up there being totally embarrassed. President, the president of St. Louis Hospital said it very bluntly, the business leaders who want to move the city forward, they have to do it with the people that they have on hand or bring them in. What he basically said was that the district is dysfunctional. This is an awful thing for business leaders to say, but it is true, and only you can change that. We know that there are great things happening in our school district. You just did the career in tech. That Arts Academy put that show on this past weekend, it was phenomenal. Uh, you have the IB program, you have the swimming team, you have this and you have that. But for every one child that's in those groups, 10 to 15 children are not making it. All you have to do is to look at our report card. How can you change their minds? Certainly not by adjusting that job description that I think some people want changed. That job description dictates what we need in our district. And I don't know who changed it, but it is right on. Someone who, okay, how can we change it? By bringing in someone who can communicate with them, these business leaders on their level. Someone who the minute they open their mouths, you know they have been and will continue to be an educational leader. One whose behavior exhibits a high level of intelligence over joking and frolicking because the leaders that they are dealing with are out of their league. Someone who not only talks to talk but walks to walk. Someone who exhibits a command of the entire educational spectrum. Someone who will walk the halls of NFA and receive, and, and receive the respect of teachers, students, and support staff. Someone who will engage teachers and tell them, you have a seven and a half hour day. You don't leave here. Your job is to be here for seven and a half hours. And someone who will tell those teachers, all they have to do is go to, the, go to those um, tapes and see teachers walking out of the building. Someone who will engage teachers in that seven and a half hour day that they need to obey the contract because one can look at the tapes and see how they are being taken advantage of. Someone who can stand before our business leaders and present his and her vision for NFA and inform them that the system is about to change, so don't count us out. We are literally at war. It will take a general to lead our troops to victory. This visionary will be an educational leader and will look at NFA's report card and see that the Asians, the African Americans, the Hispanics, 
The American Indians have not met AYP for 09, 10, and I believe we're on our way for failing for 10 and 11. So I will repeat what I said last at the last board meeting using a shorter version. An instructional leader, not a building manager, a person who can strategically plan, put it in action, and come up with a corrective action plan. Bring in research-based programs, especially in reading. Why should our kids get to sixth and seventh grade and they can't read? Something's wrong there. And then why should they go through a high school and come out and they can't even get a job? Analyze the level of suspensions of our minorities. Analyze and consult with the board on book policy. The book policy says that all students are to receive books. I talked to you, Dawn, about the books. You never got back to me. You have classes of students sitting up there with no math books, with no US history books, and et cetera. And no one's doing anything about it. I, oh, I, I meant to ask me about Mrs. Bowles. I did send you an email, and I'll be happy to send it to you again. I have a copy of that. Please do. More important, the policy and procedural man, man, manual is the education bible for the district. What I have described to you is not an executive principle. As I told you last month, it's just a glorified name to get a higher salary. When I, what I have described to you is an educational instructor. If you take nothing out of here tonight, take out the fact that NFA needs an instructional leader. Now, I have two questions on the um, policy manual. Okay, you answered one. You said you, you emailed me. Okay, so I'll let that one go. <coughs> With students having no books, no homework, how are they supposed to pass these um, tests that they're supposed to pass? It leaves me a little confused as to how students are going to improve if the books are sitting on the shelves in the, um, at NFA. The last question is when will you discuss the selection committee? Will it be at the next person, or the selection committee for the uh, executive principal? Will it be at the next personnel meeting? Because the last one was canceled. I believe that that meeting falls under the open law meeting. Who will be on that committee? I suggest that you seek out qualified people from outside agencies such as the Mountain, New Paul's, Orange County, Marist. I believe that the district was working with, uh, Dr. Sapinelli had the district working with Orange County trying to help the district to improve students uh, so that when they enter college, they, at least they have half a chance of uh, not having to take all of those courses, those non-credit courses, to bring them up to par. Uh, at the workshop, Mr. Lewis was asked about an alternative. Mr. Lewis asked about an alternative school, and you said something to the effect that you will be able to send some of these students to the Kaplan, the school Kaplan is setting up over there. This isn't this a county school? Isn't this going to encompass? This is not going to be uh, Newburgh's district throwaway school. Neither will this charter school that Fitz Gerald is talking about. So this district, district had better get busy planning for the type of student because the numbers increase each year because we don't have a plan. We need a plan for an alternative school. And last but not least, I have a question. I asked you two months ago, Dawn, to attach, you said you would attach the conferences to the agenda. I haven't seen them yet. And my next question. If you would like to um, see specific items to the agenda, once they are approved, you can uh, request that information from the board clerk. That is a district policy. OK, thank you. Are any arrangements being made for teacher diversity training? This district is, I believe, clo close to 70% minority. Is there any? teacher diversity training in your future? 
Or, as you know, um, as a former member of the Board of Education, we don't typically answer questions at this meeting, but I would be happy to get back to you on that. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Bowles. to remove from the table resolution 122011N. I have a motion to re remove resolution N from the table. So Second. Roll call. Mr. Levinstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Ms. Brokaw? Yes. Mr. Vansley? Yes. Mr. Boynholm? Yes. Ms. Wichek? Yes. Resolution N, be it resolved that the board hereby approves the terms of and authorizes its superintendent of schools to execute an agreement between an employee and the New Bergen Lawrence City School District dated December 14, 2011, as presented to the board at this meeting. A copy of said agreement shall be incorporated by reference within the minutes of the meeting. Can I have a motion? So Second. Questions or comments? Roll we'll call, please. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Ms. Brokaw? Yes. Mr. Vesley? Yes. Mr. Woodhull? Yes. Ms. Gucci? Yes. Mr. Pito? Um, just, just as um, a reminder that Dr. Saturnelli passed away on this day a year ago, I'd like to have a moment of silence in, in her memory because so many of the things that we're doing on a daily basis here were, were projects that she started. And uh, I know the central office staff and, and, and board are committed to uh, completing and carrying out her goals. So I'd like to have a moment of silence for 